It is our 18th annual Alex Scott A Stand for Hope telethon. And we are raising money in the fight against childhood cancer. Did you know that 47 children are diagnosed with cancer every day in the United States? And cancer is the leading cause of death by disease in American children. That's why your donation is so very important. Health reporter Stephanie Saul is live in our great hall where we want to get those phones ringing to keep the donations rolling in, of course, for the kids. Stephanie. Well, Siafa and Natasha, we need to get these phones ringing. And look who's back here ready to answer the phone. Swoop. I'm not sure he really talks, but he'll answer the phone for you to give a donation. Please call 866-333-1213 or just text us, CBS Alex, all one word, to 44321. You know, Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation is working to find better, safer treatments for pediatric cancer. They want to give hope to families dealing with pediatric cancer. And for one New Jersey family, they faced a really tough battle. They came together and they're stronger for it. And they learned a really important lesson to never take anything for granted. Here's Kayla's story. Meet Kella. She's a pretty amazing athlete who swims, runs track, throws discus and javelin for the North Jersey Navigators. We have a lot of ambulatory athletes as well as people who do wheelchair racing. And they're a phenomenal organization. And all of, uh, everything that I learned from, from that team helped me to become the person that I am today. Come on, Kella, let's go! She's 22, working, competing, and living her life. You'd never know that she had a prosthetic and lost much of her leg when she was just five years old. It started with crying during the night, fevers, then a fall off the bed that sent her to the ER. After some testing, the diagnosis, a tumor in her leg, osteosarcoma, cancer. We were so shocked. The whole medical team that, you know, that came in, it was it was pretty overwhelming for us and, you know, for uh, Kayla as well. Chemotherapy was needed to shrink the tumor. All the complications that was discussed by the team, it happened. Everything that they mentioned to us that this, this could happen, this could happen, it all did. And much more, it was, it was really, really, really devastating. And then the amputation, which child life experts tried to explain to Kayla using a doll. She's a happy doll and everything like that, but her leg is sick. So we're going to take this portion of your leg to save your life. And then she just handed the doll back. She goes, I don't want to play this game anymore. All of that is a blur to Kayla. She's thriving. And for the past 17 years, the Cruz family has been involved with the Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation, helping raise money and awareness of childhood cancer. Alex's funds research that is changing the face of childhood cancer around the world. Alex's Lemonade Stand as an organization has grown in a really good way to a point where they have a lot of influence on how we do science. For instance, the funding that we have from Alex's is to test some slightly crazy ideas that had the potential to really transform the way that we think about osteosarcoma specifically. Dr. Ryan Roberts is studying osteosarcoma, the cancer that Kayla had. He and a group of his colleagues from around the nation received funding through the Alex's Crazy 8 initiative, which aims to solve the biggest problems in childhood cancers. Dr. Roberts says the big issue for osteosarcoma patients, the cancer often comes back in the lungs. My lab has really focused on figuring out why it is that that particular cancer likes to grow in the lungs. And we're exploring different ways of kind of stopping that, keeping that from happening. If the tumor is the seed, then the soil that's ripe for this tumor is the lungs for some reason, which we haven't understood for a while, but we're starting to now. That's really the work that we've been doing in our lab. Work that is offering hope that one day more kids will be like Kayla. We're really on the precipice of a new era in pediatric cancer research and care.